Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I want to share a dream about a nuclear attack. This dream carries a significant message that we believe is important for everyone to hear. As always, you can find the link to the original video in the description below. What's going on, everybody? I'm back, and um, I wanted to get right to it. I have something to share with you guys. Um, recently, my cousin has been getting called by the Lord, and I'm very happy about that um, because I know his family's praying for him, and um, you know I, I'm praying for him, and you know we're all we're all like um, we're rooting for him. You know the, the Lord calls him. You know the Lord um, calls him so he can get saved, and what basically happened about a few days ago surprised me. Like, God is awesome. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus Christ. Because I know Jesus Christ, um, he's faithful. You know, when we're unfaithful, he's faithful. So, you know, I want to give glory to, to the Lord for this one. Um, my cousin told me he had a dream. And usually, he, you know, I, he doesn't call me and tell me he has dreams. So, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um... My cousin believes in God. He's a good man. He has a, he takes care of his family. Um, you know, he prays to to God. But I wouldn't say he's very I wouldn't say he is like, you know, 100%, you know, you know, just all out for the Lord. I wouldn't say he's like born again, but he he's he's he prays, but he's just not like, you know, He's just not fully 100% committed to God. You know what I mean? He's just still like he doesn't know, you know, this and that. So I saw a surprise when he told me this dream. Um, so he goes, he goes, he was like, yeah, I had a dream. You won't believe it. I'm like, what happened? He goes, I had a dream that I was looking for my my diamond earrings. He has di these diamond earrings. And um, he said, I couldn't find them. He's all, he's like, I was searching everywhere. I couldn't find them. I uh, looked all over the house, and then um, he said all of a sudden I went to the car. I went to go look in the car, and when he goes to look in the car, he looks at his, uh, he has a Camaro, so he went to, uh, it's a brand new Camaro. He goes to his Camaro, and he ends up finding out that his Camaro's, like, broken, like somebody, like, rammed it with, with a car or something. So he was like, I looked at my Camaro, and I was like, oh, my lord, like, what's going on, like, First, I lose my earrings, then my Camaro's destroyed, right? And while he's contemplating what's going on, and he's looking for ear his earrings at the same time in his car, he he says that he turns around, and he looks behind him, and he can see a, a, a city, and it's nuclear, like, basically, a bomb goes off. I think he told me that he saw, like, he saw... The missile come and destroy the city or or he said that when he turned around he it had already hit the city and basically it was like a mushroom cloud right a mushroom cloud and he just saw a whole city decimated right and then he said he finally woke up and he said the funniest thing to me right he goes he goes cuz the craziest thing about that dream was Besides the new going off in the city, he said the craziest thing besides that, besides the new going off was, I basically realized I lost my two favorite possessions in the world. He said, my diamond earrings and my car. He said, those are my two prized possessions. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm sitting there like, hmm, I wonder what that means. You know what I mean? I wonder what God's trying to tell him. So he was like, yeah, you know. He said after that he woke up and he was like astonished because he's never had a dream like that ever, right? And I told him when he told me this dream, I'm like, man, this is God talking to you. God is telling you, you know what I mean? And then I read that verse to him where God talks about, you know, I will, um, uh, son will, son, my sons, no, I'll pour out my flesh. I'll pour out my spirit, sorry, onto all flesh and, you know, sons and daughters will prophesy old men will have visions, you know, that scripture, and, uh, and I was just, I couldn't believe it, I was so happy, because God is, he's reaching my cousin, he's trying to tell him, you know, to come closer to him, like, things are about to go down, and basically, I mean, he knows what that means, 
we need to like not hold on to our possessions you know what i mean like don't hold on to to money don't hold on to cars don't hold on to the world don't hold on to your house like these things are nothing and what god's what i feel god's telling him is i'm sorry i'm talking so fast because i'm excited for him i'm so happy that god is calling him and basically you guys know what it means right like don't hold on to this stuff god is coming so soon you know what i mean we need to hold things loosely in this world. We need to hold money loosely. We need to hold our our possessions very loosely because God is saying that, man, this stuff is going to go away. This is, I mean, this could happen next week or tomorrow or next year. We don't know. But I'm telling you the truth, guys. It's coming. It's coming. Guaranteed. Guaranteed coming. The reason I know it's coming because I had the same dreams. When I first got saved, I told you guys, that if you look at my videos, I don't know if you guys looked at my videos about um, the nukes, the dreams of uh, nukes hitting the city. You know, I've had dreams. I've had at least three good dreams of um, a nuclear bomb destroying a city. I seen a whole, I seen a city like LA decimated, destroyed, fr like ashes. You know what I mean? Um, another time I was walking and, and bombs drop on the city. You know what I mean? So God is... God is telling us that America's getting judged. Don't hold on to possessions. Don't hold on to money. Don't hold on to your cars. Don't hold on to jewelry. Don't hold on to these things that we hold dear in this world. Because God is going to remove everything, right? And the best thing for us to do is to push that away and to get closer to God in a relationship and to know Christ. You know what I mean? To know Jesus. So... Basically, he knows, I, you know, he, he's a smart guy. He knows what's up. He knows that, you know, he even told me, you know, those those were my two favorite possessions. And, you know, God was telling me, you know, God's taking them away. Like, you know, basically saying this is going to end soon. There's, you know, what is a diamond going to do for you when the, when the world when the world ends? What is that going to do for you? Is that going to feed you? No. It says in the Bible that people will toss their gold in the streets because they can't eat it. It's going to be that bad. So, you know, it means nothing, you guys. It, God is coming so soon, and um, we are judged. America America is judged. You know, it's a wrap. There's nothing we can do. You know, all we can do is pray for our families and our loved ones to get saved and to get right with the Lord. But America is under judgment. So, um, and my cousin doesn't even really, he's not even like this is why it's amazing because he's like i've never had a dream like that. i don't know why i had that dream i don't know what it means and i'm like dude you know what it means and because he knows i told him i told him the dreams i had you know what i mean so you know he's just like wow i can't believe that so you know we know that we know that the lord's gonna come soon and we know that you know, things are going to get bad, but all that means, guys, is the Lord is coming. Like, when this stuff happens, when the bombs drop in the cities and, you know, things happen, we know that the Lord is just around the corner. You know what I mean? And I honestly don't think that we're going to be taken away before this stuff happens. I think we're going to have to see this stuff and we're going to have to go through it. You know what I mean? Now, how long are we going to have to go through it before the Lord comes? God only knows. You know what I mean? Um... God, I don't think God's going to take us away it very easily. You know what I mean? He didn't take his disciples away and from, you know, from persecution. And they walked with God himself. You know, they walk with the Lord. You know, if anybody deserves to be taken away, it'd probably be them. Um, Noah wasn't taken away. Noah was on the boat. You know what I mean? But God protected him. You know, um... Lot wasn't taken away. Lot was protected there and all that stuff. So we know that God protects his own. Um, you know, but in the end, it's all God's will what happens. You know what I mean? You know, it's just God's will. Um, you know, I wish God could take us away from this place now. You know what I mean? But I think God wants us to be ready. God wants us, our hearts to be purified. And um, he wants everybody to come home. Guys, God is awesome and he is merciful and loving. The Lord Jesus Christ is so, he's so merciful. And I know there's a lot of times we don't understand why 
you know, he hasn't come yet and why things haven't went off. But, you know, God is wise, man. We don't understand him. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts, you know. And, um, you know, for those who are struggling in the sin, I want to tell you, I have a message for you. I, I want to tell you to trust in the Lord in the midst of your struggle, in the midst of your sin. Trust in God to deliver you, to, to save you. I know it's hard. You know what I mean? I know everybody has something. But, you know, be strong in God and trust him. And I promise he'll do it. He'll take it away. You know what I mean? He'll give you strength to overcome it. You know? Um, just trust him in the midst of it. Know that he'll do it. You know, don't be afraid. You know, God's going to get you through it. God's going to take you. You know, he's going to He's gonna bring you home. So just be strong in the Lord. And um, know that Christ loves you. Jesus loves you. And the time is now. All right, my cousin has never had a dream like this before, guys. He's never had a dream like this, you know? Um, and it's crazy. His, um, his, his girlfriend... Um, like my, she's like my cousin, she goes, you won't believe it. And she has like a nine year old daughter and she's like, they're in there singing about Jesus. She was like, they're in there singing. And she showed me a video of these little girls singing about Jesus. You know, it's it, God is touching people. God is touching the kids. God is touching the unsaved. And he is being merciful. He's calling everybody right now, you know? So, you know, praise Jesus, glory to God, you know, give, give the Lord praise. And you guys, thank God for everything, for, you know, a drink of water, for a, for a bite of food. It all comes from him. It all comes from the Lord. All the good things come from him, you know. So um, just get ready. Um, let's pray for each other and be strong and don't hold on to the things of the world. All right. God's coming now. OK, I love you guys. Bye.